now i am going to solve this problem 147 so in this problem we have an oil tanker and it is it moves away from its dock position under the action of reverse thrust from screw a forward thrust from screw b right so from this point a it has it gets a reverse thrust and from b it gets a forward thrust right and a side thrust from both thruster c and from c it gets a side thrust right so it is said they determine the equivalent force couple system at the mass center G. So we are asked to find the equivalent force couple system at this point G due to these three forces. So first I will find the resultant uh, the resultant vector, right? So R will be equal to R X I plus R Y J plus R Z K. Right? And our x is the summation of all forces along the x axis, is right? So, if we add up all the forces along the x axis, is right? So, first, uh, this is the x axis, this is the y axis, and this is the z axis, is right? So, as we can see, that only this 8 kilonewton force is in the x direction, and that is also in the negative x direction, right? So, if I write that the r vector, so then this is minus. 8 i right and since these two these two forces are in the y direction right along the y axis is right so we can write that this is plus 50 kilonewton and this is minus 50 kilonewton right so and one is in the positive y and another one is in the negative y so they will cancel out each other so we will be left with 0 j right and there is no force or component along z so also the z component of the resultant is also zero right so the resultant is in the negative x direction and this is kilo newton right so this is the resultant vector and its magnitude is minus eight now we will find the moment due to these three forces at point g right so the moment at point g will be equal to the moment at point G and its x component plus moment at point G the component along y and plus moment at point G the component along z axis. Now to find the component of the moment about G along x so we will observe these forces from this direction. Right, so now as we can see that this 8 kN force is parallel to x axis, so it will not produce any moment about x axis, right. So these two forces are only producing the moment about x axis and the perpendicular distance of these two forces from the x axis is this 7 meter, right. So this is the perpendicular distance of these two forces from the x axis. Now if you want to find the direction of the moment produced by this 50 kN that is in the positive y direction right so it will produce the moment in this direction and if if we curl our right hand finger so the thumb will point out in the positive x since this is the counterclockwise moment and if we want to find the direction of the moment produced by this 50 kN force so then this will be the direction in the opposite direction right this will be the direction right and if we curl our right hand finger so it will be in the negative x direction and as we can see that the perpendicular distance of these two forces and the magnitude of these two forces are same but their moments are in the opposite direction so they will cancel out each other moment right this means that this component of the moment at point g is zero right so we can write that this is zero i now if you want to find the moment about g along the y axis is right so we will observe these forces from the y direction right from this direction so now as we can see that these two forces are parallel to y axis so they will not produce any moment about the y axis right only this force is producing the moment about y axis since it has this perpendicular distance from the y axis that is the 6 meter right and if you want to find the direction of the moment due to this 8 kN force so it will produce the moment in this direction right and if we curl our right hand finger so the thumb will point out in this direction right so this means that 
the moment produced by this 8 kN is in the positive j direction and what will be the magnitude? So, the magnitude will be 8 into 6, 8 kN into 6, this is the perpendicular distance, right? And this is in the positive j, so I will write j. So, this is 48 j, right? And similarly, to find the moment at point g along the z axis is so, this will be equal to, so now we will observe these forces from this direction. This, these two forces have per, uh, this much perpendicular distance from the z axis is that is the 5 meter, right? This is 5 meter and this is also 5 meter. And as we can see that if we observe these two forces from the, from this direction, so they are producing a couple, they are in the opposite direction and the perpendicular distance between these two forces these two 50 kilonewton forces is this 5 plus 5 that is the 10 meters, right? And if you want to find the direction, so these two forces are producing the couple in this direction. And if we curl our right hand finger in this direction, so our thumb will point out in this direction, in the positive z direction. So this couple is producing the moment in the positive direction, right? So we can write that this is plus this will be 50 and the perpendicular distance is 10 meters 5 plus 5 and this is in the positive k direction, right? And now if we observe this force, so this force, this 8 kN force has this much perpendicular distance from the z axis is and this 8 kN force is producing moment in this direction. And if we curl our right hand fingers, so again the thumb will point out in the positive z direction, right? So, I can write that this is plus and it is 8 kN into the perpendicular distance. So, this 40, this is 40 and this is in the positive k. So, since both of these are in the positive k, so we can write k as a common and we can add up these uh, moments. So, this comes out to be 820 k. Newton meter, right? So, if we write the moment vector at point G, so this will be equal to 48 J plus 820 K and this is in Newton meters, right? So, this is the solution of this problem.